Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be the next 48 hours for you. What's coming, what you can expect, what's going on the next 48 hours. This is a timeless reading, so when you see this reading is when you are meant to receive it. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, as I'm tapping into your energy, Taurus, I'm feeling like there's people around you. I'm feeling like you are helping someone. And I feel like you are trusting that everything will work out, that everything will go smoothly. Um, I feel like you're kind of pushing on. You know, you're hanging in there. You're staying in the fight. You're moving forward and not really understanding where the path is leading you. But I feel like you're pushing on anyway. Very beautiful, Taurus. Let's get some energies for Taurus. Uh, let's get some cards for Taurus the next 48 hours please okay we have the four of swords I definitely feel like there's you're focusing on yourself on healing on recovery you're taking time out you're looking at things okay um, we have the three of wands so I definitely feel like you're growing. You're expanding. This can also be a card of travel. So there may be some kind of travel plans that you have within the next 48 hours. There may be some place that you're going, some place that you're traveling to. Okay? Um, very interesting. We have the Three of Wands, the Six of Wands queen of swords in the world so you may be traveling because of some kind of work destination some kind of appearance you're traveling to some kind of conference or something of that nature, okay? Um, something to do with being noticed. Some kind of celebration in your honor or in someone's honor very close to you. I feel like there's a lot of achievements you've achieved something. Maybe it's some sort of graduation, some sort of celebration on your achievements. Something that you accomplished. Something that means a lot to you. Or a lot to someone around you. The next 48 hours. Hmm. We also have the Ace of Cups, the Temperance and the Strength. Wow. A lot of situations going on. I feel like if you're, if you are open to love this time, I feel like there's a lot of love coming in for you, Taurus. I feel like there's a lot of love, a lot of balance, harmony, healing. Okay. Um, with the Four of Swords and the King of Cup, excuse me, the Knight of Cups. I feel like there's some kind of offer. I feel like. You know, this is going to sound very funny, Taurus. But I feel like someone wants to take you on some kind of spa retreat, some kind of spa date, some kind of place where you're kind of focused on getting yourself done, done up, you know, getting yourself together. For some of you, I feel like this may be an offer that may lead to something very spectacular. 
okay because i feel like with this tower i don't necessarily feel like this is a bad thing okay because we have the knight of cups the tower and the four of wands now the four of wands is a card of celebration a card of reunion a card of i don't know what that was a card of um gratitude you know homecomings being around friends and family people who care deeply about you so i feel like this offer is giving you some sort of freedom to be with your family to be with the people who care about you i feel like that's the reason for the celebration this offer is giving you more freedom more opportunity to spend with the people who love you okay so it may be some kind of job offer some kind of investment some kind of situation um, maybe you're going to be staying at home and raising a family because your significant other or uh, the person that you're with is saying that they want you at home full time and they'll take care of the family you know but i, I feel like this is freedom for you to spend more time with your family, your loved ones. Um, so I don't feel like this tower is bad in any way, shape, or form. I feel like this is like a blessing in disguise for you. Okay? So whatever changes this is bringing, I feel like it's bringing wonderful change. Kind of like going on a new adventure and finding this happy place. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of happiness surrounding you at the moment. There's a lot of things that you're pursuing, that you're going for. I feel like you're very driven to succeed. And I feel like you're, you're in this happy place right now, uh, Taurus. And if you're not feeling it right now, it's coming very shortly, okay? Um, but I feel like this news, this offer is coming to you with a lot of happiness, a lot of gratitude, a lot of, you know, um, abundance is what I'm getting. Okay? Tell me more about this, Spirit. Yeah, you're definitely going to receive some type of news. You're taking some kind of action. Wow. You're letting down your guards. You're letting down your fears and doubts. Wow. Whatever news this is, this is strong. This is heavy. <laughs> but this is also beautiful. Because I feel like with the Eight of Wands, I feel like some kind of news is coming in. This can also be quick, um, quick action. Uh, being driven. Um, traveling. Um, and I feel... For some reason, I feel like maybe you might be flying somewhere, but I feel like you need strength to fly because I feel like maybe you have a fear of flying, but I feel like that's the only way to your destination is to fly, okay? But I feel like, you know, you have to be strong. You have to be fearless in order to make this move, and I feel like you're very hesitant but you're excited in the same moment, you know? Very interesting energy. I'm really liking this. Okay, let's clarify this a little bit for Taurus. We're going to use the after tarot to clarify. Let's get a message for Taurus. Sun, moon, and rising. Venus. For the next 48 hours message for Taurus please okay yeah whatever this is I feel like you are finding your abundance look at this we have the ten of Pentacles and the ten of cups the four of wands a lot of happiness a lot of celebration going on here and I feel like it's a lot of abundance coming forward for you you're able to uh, provide 
you're able to, you know, have this long lasting success. Okay? That's what I'm getting with this four with this uh Ten of Pentacles. Give me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this. Okay, with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups, we have the Four of Cups. So with this Four of Cups energy, I feel like there, there's an opportunity that may have been good for you, but you're like passing it by because maybe it would be taking too much time away from your family, too much time away from the people who love you. So I feel like there is an opportunity that you're passing by, but I feel like you're passing it by for a very good reason. You're passing it by for uh, your own greater good and, and for the people who care about you, your responsibilities. Okay, um, tell me more about this Four of Cups energy. This is interesting. Okay, we have the Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles. Very interesting. So I feel like you've passed by this opportunity because you feel like there's something better that's coming by. You feel like there may be something better. So it may not be that you're turning down this offer, but you're waiting for them to give you a better offer. Something that works for you, something that works for you and your family for, you know, so that you can create balance and harmony. Something that will bring more stability, more solid ground. Okay, and I feel like you're, you're holding out for this new opportunity because you feel like, you know, they can do better. They can do better than that, you know. Give me something better than that. I deserve better than that, you know. So I feel like you turn down an opportunity because you know that there's a better opportunity right behind it. Okay. Um, tell me about this tower and this Eight of Wands, Spirit. Give me a message for this tower and this Eight of Wands. Cards just want to flip all over. <clears throat> Okay, we have the death card. So I feel like this is a total transformation than where, where you're leaving. I feel like you're making, I, I feel like you are the one making these changes. Uh, I'm not sure that it's destiny traveling to this tower and this eight of wands. I feel like you're transforming the situation because you're growing, you're expanding. You are growing as a person and as a intellect. Okay. Um, hmm. Tell me more about this energy spirit. Tell me more about this. Okay. Yeah, we have the star. There's more things that you wished for. Wow. And the lovers. Wow. So we have on the star... And the lovers and the death card. You're transforming this situation. This is beautiful, Taurus. This situation, and I'm getting with this tower and this eight of wands, the death card, the star, and the lovers. I feel like maybe someone proposed. Someone wants you to raise a family. I feel like things are changing because you're changing. Your situation is changing. This is what you wished for. I feel like in the back of your mind, you wished for this situation to happen. You've been waiting for it, Taurus. And I feel like with this star and the lovers, I feel like this is like your wish upon a star. This is, you know, your, your, I want to say mini miracle. This is your mini miracle. You know, this is what you've hoped for, what you've wished for. Um, I feel like you're putting you and your love in the spotlight. You know, very interesting, but I feel there's so much 
transformation going here. There's so much change. So much growth. I almost feel like... You know, when people view you, they view you as a totally different person. Like, they may not even recognize who you are or how you sound. Because you're just like this totally new person. And it's not a bad thing. I feel like it's a very good thing because you are, you have, have expanded spiritually, mentally, physically, um... Beautiful. Tell me more about this Four of Wands spirit and the Strength card. Leo energy. Tell me about this Four of Wands and the Strength card. Okay, the Page of Swords. You've gotten a lot of communication. You're very curious about the future. I feel like you're like driven to like see the world. You're like have this drive of success of knowledge that maybe you're learning. Maybe you're going through some kind of internship or, you know, learning some kind of new craft, a new trade. And I feel like it's leading you to travel, to maybe see the world, to view things in a different way. Uh, but I feel like this is something that you've been waiting to happen. This is something that, you know, you actually are really enjoying. This is like a reward for you, like a blessing, you know. And I feel like you worked very hard to get where you are. You worked very hard to get to this point. You've gone through healing. You've supported yourself and people around you. I feel like you're very nurturing. Um, very interesting energy, Taurus. Yeah. Okay, this may be some kind of homecoming very soon. Maybe you're traveling to the place where you grew up. Maybe you're traveling home to see family after you've, you know, been traveling for a while on some kind of business event, some kind of um, event for school or graduation or something like that. But I feel like this is a homecoming. This is a reunion of some sort okay and we have the emperor beautiful beautiful this is you being able to take more control have more control over your life so you could be an entrepreneur who's doing very well someone who is really succeeding at what you do so it's giving you more time at home, more time with your family, more, you know, more success, more abundance, <laughs> more love. Oh my gosh. But I, I'm really getting that you have control over your success, over your life, Taurus. Very beautiful. Hmm. Very beautiful. With the Nine of Wands energy, I don't feel like you're backing down. I feel like you're moving forward. You are following your intuition. Um, you're pursuing exactly what you feel like you should be pursuing. Um, and I feel like you're gaining more spiritual ground, actually. I feel like you are successful. You may be teaching... You may be teaching some kind of spiritual activity. Um, maybe you're a YouTuber doing meditation or some kind of spiritual work. Um, but I feel like you're following your destiny, Taurus. I feel like you are following the path that the universe has laid out for you. And I feel like you see it very clearly. Because all of your all of your dreams are able to come true. All of the wishes that you have made. I feel like you're just checking them off like a checklist. 
Yes, I've done that. Yes, I've succeeded. Yes, that goal is done. You know, I feel like you, you have this checklist that you're following and you're just able to check them off. Yeah, that's done. You know, it, <laughs> you are my inspiration, Taurus. Definitely my inspiration. And I feel like it has taken a lot of courage for you to get where you are. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Definitely. I feel like whatever you're doing, it's like beautiful energy. It's like there's no place for failure. And I feel like if there was a place for failure, I feel like you would just learn the lesson and move on. You know? Um, <clears throat> I feel like you just see a failure as a challenge to try to get around. So it's beautiful. I'm really loving this, Taurus. Let's get some energy for Taurus. And before I do that, I need my glasses because I can't see. Okay, Taurus. See, we have focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. And I feel like that's what you're doing, Taurus. I feel it very strongly. Okay? We have intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> wow. These messages are just so beautiful for you, Taurus. Okay, we have Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness that is unfolding for you. Taurus, I feel like this next 48 hours, <laughs> I feel like you're traveling, um, there's big changes happening, there's celebration, there's homecoming. Um, now, I'm reading for so many people, but I feel like there's a lot going on in Taurus. Um, I feel like there's a lot of success. There's a lot of abundance. Okay. We have new moon in Libra. Know you are loved. And I feel like you're loved greatly. Okay. And we have new moon in Leo. Shine. And I feel like that's exactly what you are doing, Taurus. You are shining. You are shining bright like a star. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that is what I have for you, Taurus, the next 48 hours. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uh, uploads. And I have all of the March readings in a playlist. If you want to take a look at your sun, moon, rising, your Venus, north node, south node, <laughs> you know, whatever you would like to do. Uh, but take a look at your sun, moon, and rising especially. Uh, sometimes your uh, moon and rising clarify things a lot more during certain periods. Okay? Um, and unto your next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.